nice one guys so basically as you can see i'm in the kitchen right now it's gonna start something quick up in the evening eh? to share with you guys all right it's gonna be something fantastic and an amazing using the word amazing so first of all i'm gonna share with you how to prep your this is my um mushroom i'm gonna show you how to prepare your mushroom for this stuff mushroom recipe which i'm gonna share with you all right now i'm already done this one and as you can see they are ready all right now tweaking of the mushroom i'm gonna show you exactly how to do the mushroom all right look at this now guys this is the mushroom so what you want to do you want to remove the bits on the outside of the mushroom this is the first thing what you want to do all right let's move this bit on the outside so i'm going to show you you can do a lovely stuffed mushroom something very easy and simple you can do this for your dinner or you can do it for a starter you can do it for so many different things but i'm going to show you exactly how to do this on an amazing recipe all right so once you do that then what you want to do you want to move this bit in the middle of the mushroom and then you can just take your time and just simple scrape around it and the inside i'm using a teaspoon to get the inside out all right some people use this bit and make soup you can you know what i mean but i don't use that bit i just gonna throw that in the bin i just only need this bit right here so this is what you want the mushroom to look like all right so as you can see so i'm gonna show you now how to do this and an amazing recipe today from chef Ricardo. so stay tuned in and watch the video all right so basically i got two four six mushroom which i'm gonna show you how to do it it's gonna be fantastic all right and that's gonna be an amazing now let's go over to the stove and we're gonna show you all of my ingredients which i'm gonna be using and i got a little bit of rice this is my rice i'm already prep up the rice okay so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna show you how to fry up the rice and get it ready so let's go by yourself now to this medium size frying pan we got a medium size frying pan right here um what i'm gonna do let's put the angle that way get it on on a medium size heat all right so we're gonna tip roughly about like two teaspoon of olive oil into the frying pan all right that's the first thing you want to do is get the oil into the frying pan all right now what we're going to do i'm going to get a medium size red onion or you call it purple onion or pink onion this is what i'm going to use for the first thing so you want to dice up that very small Let's put that in the front pan in the meantime. So we just need to sort of take off the red onion. So you don't have to use rice, but the request is was rice. So yeah. So I got some sprint onion. I'm gonna also use. some spring onion as you can see it for yourself all right so we're just gonna make this get hot now we're gonna put some peppers inside of it all right some red green and gold pepper Lovely. 
lovely. So that's the yellow pepper. That's the red pepper. And I got some green pepper we're gonna use. Tomato. I'm gonna put two garlic inside of it. That's my favorite, you know what I mean? Yeah, garlic is a must. Just squeeze that garlic inside of it. Let's give this a stir. Ah, a little bit blowy at the moment because of the steam. So it's a little bit blowy. All right, now. Chili. Gonna put some chili inside of it. Some basil. Vegetable Caesar. Some paprika. You let us stir. It's a little bit blowy at the moment because of the steam. Look at that. Hope you guys can see, but it's a little bit blowy. But I don't know. It's probably the um. So what we're going to do, we're going to chop the rice in it now. Give that a stir. Some black pepper. Yeah, this is ready. So we're gonna do let's take this away. Alright, look at that. That is fantastic and an amazing guys. Now what we're gonna do is come right here. And show you how to do this now so I would encourage you guys first make sure your your oven is preheated first okay that's what the first thing I will be doing is preheat your oven all right now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna slap a little bit of olive oil on top of this mushroom 
all right just like this it's a little bit of olive oil over it all right yeah that's looking good all right yeah so that's looking nice nice and nice all right now i'm gonna show you how to do this bit And this is a very nice part of the whole thing is right here so now so what you want to do is I'm gonna do a simple take a little time and put in the rice into the mushroom like this look at that fantastic and amazing so if you have a little bit of leftover stuff in your fridge you don't have to chew it in the bin so these are things that you can do at home all right Look at that, fantastic and an amazing. So, that is lovely. So I'm gonna put a little bit of cheese on top of it. Like this. Like this, like this, all right, and like this. Take a good look at that, guys. That is fantastic and an amazing. All right, there. Yeah. All right, now preheat the oven for at least make it over very hot. And we want to do put some black pepper. On top. All right. That is fantastic and an amazing. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna transfer with that piece of paper so let's put them on a cleaner piece of sheet okay as you guys can see What's going on? All right. That is fantastic, guys. All right. I don't know if you guys can see exactly what I'm doing. Just gonna put a piece of tomato on top of it like this. And like this. Yep. And then we're 
we're gonna just chuck this in the oven for at least. So we're just gonna bake this for roughly about 15 to 20 minutes into the oven. Preheat your oven first, gas mark. If you're using gas mark, you can use said gas mark six or seven. Electric, 165. Cook it for roughly about 20 minutes, 25 minutes the least in your oven. So I'm gonna put this straight in my oven now. All right? Make sure you preheat your oven first. I get your oven ready, all right? Yeah, nice and lovely. Stuffed mushroom, guys, look at that. Lovely and delicious. Nice. All right. So now I'm going to show you how to bake one of my favorite cake. Right, here it is. This is how I start in the kitchen. This is how I start a couple of years ago in the kitchen by baking cakes. Look at this. Um, let me make sure I do this right. Get your pen, guys, and write on this one. God, this one is very interested. Salted butter. Alright, this is some unsalted butter. I'm gonna use roughly about alright, that's it. Um, this is 12 ounces of butter. Alright. 12 ounces of butter. Um, yeah. It's going to be 12 ounces of butter. show you to make this cake 12 ounces unsalted butter it's gonna be a lot but you only look like a lot but it's not a lot all right now I'm gonna get some sugar and the sugar gonna be six ounces of sugar Yeah. Hey. Yeah, that's just six ounces. It's not like don't know what you wanna do. Everything's supposed to be room temperature, but you know what I mean. Chef recorded this. Alright, so you wanna cream. the butter and the sugar together. All right. All right, so you just wanna make sure <laughs> I need the butter to melt a little bit. 
the butter needs to melt a little bit. All right, so I'm gonna just simply melt the butter a little bit. All right. Yeah, so that's the butter and the sugar together. We're gonna cream it together and make a nice, lovely sponge cake today. I'm gonna show you to make this beautiful sponge cake. We're gonna get four medium sized egg. Four medium sized egg. So, yeah. I don't know, the butter is, the butter is room temperature. It should be like cream. For some reason, they don't want a cream. Like the other butter, the other butter is very nice. I'll just melt it a little bit. So you want to do you know, another simple mix it up together like this. What you want to do. Look at that guys. So that's the sugar and the butter. Alright. I'm using some unsalted butter and it's also good butter too. See that? So that's what you want to do. You want to cream everything. All right? Yeah. Cream everything. I know it probably is a little bit um, flowing at the moment. I don't know why. But look at that. All right? So you want to cream both of them together like that. looking lovely guys trust me it's coming out really good now what I'm gonna do is get four eggs all right so we're gonna add egg one at a time so that's the first egg you just wanna we start egg into it. You're gonna love this recipe, guys. Trust me. Remove the eye from the egg. Very important, alright, guys? Second egg, give that a whisk. Really good. 
Gå der, og der er der æg. And then... Two more tablespoons of sugar. Yeah. Two to three tablespoons of sugar into it. And let's whisk it. I know it's probably bloaty, but it's fine. Yeah, I think this is good. Yeah, I think it's good chef ricotta. You know, I never used this butter before. You know, the first I'm using this butter because I got a. But this is one is a soft unsalted butter. So I say, I'm gonna try this one. Let me see how my mushroom look. Wow. No. This is what Chef Ricardo talking about. All right, guys, let's take a look over this. All right? Wow. Look at this. All right? Here them is. That is beautiful. Lovely and delicious. All right, look at that. That is fantastic. And amazing from Chef Ricardo today. Stuffed mushroom with the cheese on top. Lovely. Wow. Wow. That's what I was talking about, guys. Now, I'm just gonna put them on a plate. Wow. Starter, proper starter this. All right. As I said to you, this is what I was. Okay, now, wow. Now, here it is. That is finished. All right. That is totally finished. That is lovely. Look at that. Wow. Wow. All right. Now. Yeah, look at that, guys. Wow. Hey, get cooking with us. Thank you so much for coming on the show. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I think the camera is a little bit blurry at the moment. I don't know why. Now, let's go back over here. But as you can see, that is finished. Look at that. Now we're going to get some flour. I'm using some self-rising flour inside of it. Ten ounces of self-rising flour. All right, um, ten ounces of self-rising flour. So what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put a teaspoon of vanilla. Let's pour the water this inside of it. That's fine. Oh, that's that's finished. More than a tablespoon of vanilla. Give that a mix. 
right? Now, with my 10 ounces of self-rising flour, right here, I'm gonna put some baking powder. Half teaspoon of baking powder. A little bit more. Um, pinch of salt. Pinch of cinnamon. Mix spice. Put a little bit more of the mixed spice. Just use a spoon and just mix it around. Get back in mixture. And then what you wanna do, add a little bit at a time. And just give that a mix. In the meantime, pre-eat your oven, guys. It's very important. it all right that is lovely take your time and just fold it in fold in the rest of the flour flour everything just mix it together Perfect. Perfect. That what I'm talking about. Now let's put this at the side. Estelle, thank you so much. Piece of grease proof paper here. Put this on it like this. That's where the cake gonna go into. This is the chef ricotta style. And then, oh no. So just, I just use my knife and I cut it around. Don't sink on it too much with your counter. Put it on a cutting board, all right? But I know what I'm doing, so. Cause you don't wanna scrub your cutting board, your tape, your working surface. Perfect. Now, get some butter. tray. So I'm just going to rub some butter inside of it. Just like that. Alright, once I rub the butter into it, let's put this piece of grease proof paper inside of it for the cake. Alright. Just 
start this. Let's make sure it's sealed it off the inside. Lovely. Now, let's get that kit mixture. Look at this. This is amazing. Now, let's spread out this inside of it. So what you want to do with the cake, all right, give it a shake like this, all right, and what's going to happen, it's going to bake lovely and nice. Now, <laughs> that's it guys, okay, first it's going to take roughly about 25 minutes to cook in the oven, okay, the finished product, I will be putting on the, for the pictures, for the image, for the thumbnail, that's going to be the finished picture. Of the product follow me on my instagram page i will post the the recipe over my instagram page right now chef ricardo cooking show that's my new instagram at the moment my other instagram is down okay guys so a lot of people saying chef ricardo what happened to your instagram my other instagram has done at the moment so just use the chef ricardo cooking show estale big up yourself thank you so much Thank you so much for coming on the show, but this was a lot of work, man. A whole heap of work. All right, now this is just a plain sponge cake, and I just add my little twist to it, like my um, spices and the vanilla. I add roughly another three tablespoons of sugar to it because I see that I never used this butter before, so this butter kind of look different, you know what I mean? But it's, just, it's a healthy butter, and that's why, and it's light. So probably that's why. All right, so you just, you just I'm just say to you guys you can try it. this recipe i've been using it for years okay my first video i did on it i even get an interview from the bbc on this recipe a guy who from the bbc interview me on the same recipe for sure it's a very powerful recipe all right so um follow me on my instagram chef ricardo cooking show if you're not if you just type go over and follow me all right as i said guys this is fantastic the recipe is a recipe you can use it for so many different things at home if you're cooking a, if you want to bake a little thing you can do this one so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna post a picture on instagram with the ingredients them which i just used to make this all right thank you so much for watching and as i said it's gonna take roughly about 25 minutes to 30 minutes to cook pre-eat your oven first i'm using electric oven and i'm gonna put it at 165. if you're using gas mark gas mark six are five and a half to seven i would say six to five and a half all right guys but it's a beautiful recipe four eggs um 10 ounces about a 10 ounces of self-rising flour and i use a less sugar into it because i don't want it too sweet how the rest of stuff to it you can add anything you can add apple you can add anything you can do anything with that recipe guys it's just a brilliant recipe for you to try this at home now i'm, I'm gonna bake it now all right and so as i said pre-eat your oven first that's the best thing to do and yeah that's it again from chef ricardo and then i make this beautiful stuffed mushroom as you can see for yourself so in the meantime i'm gonna just pop this in the oven in the meantime all right so the cake is in the oven and i turn them on want to have it at 165. all right so this is the stuffed mushroom which I made earlier and they are just amazing guys as you can see it for yourself they are beautiful they're even more than beautiful I would say they are like fantastic and amazing 100% all right so 
this is something where you guys can also try at home all right as you can see just put a few um past leaf and it you know what i mean yeah so it's just something if somebody don't want to eat meat and all them thing there, but then we eat the cheese this is something we can also do at home all right lovely and delicious here it is stuffed mushroom from chef ricardo cooked it all right so the cake is in the oven um it's gonna take 25 minutes to cook so i'm not gonna be holding up any one time this evening i'm just gonna simply just close the show because the cake gonna take 25 minutes to cook and a lot of people are like i don't know you guys don't like it, but yeah thank you so much for your support this evening and i really appreciate it this is some stuffed mushroom a recipe you guys can try something different at home all right with some vegetables thank you for watching stay tuned in have a lovely sunday evening and be strong and look after yourself and be safe out there all right guys yeah remember look after yourself and be safe all right have a lovely evening and I will see you with another video next time. Bye-bye.